He's a musician whose career is woven into the very fabric of our country. But before he was Gordon Lightfoot, cultural icon, he was Gordon Lightfoot, Aurelia choir boy. Mm -hmm, it's true. Can we just take a moment and appreciate this photo? Let's just appreciate it. How cute is that? It's one of many Lightfoot is sharing in the pages of a brand new biography written by Nicholas Jennings and based on unprecedented access to the legendary songwriter. Now, Nicholas Jennings joins us in studio this morning. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Let's uh, go back to how this all began. In 1999, you got a phone call to write some liner notes for a box set for Lightfoot. How did that morph into this? Well, I think Gordon Life was, was very happy with the, the liner notes I'd written. I sort of chronicled his career in, uh, in the pages of this booklet for his box set. And I got a phone call from his manager, office manager at the time, Barry Harvey, and he said, Nick, I want you to know, Gord says, if anyone's ever going to write his biography, it's going to be you. And I said, wow, well, thank you, Barry. Thanks for passing that along. And I didn't hear anything again for a couple of years. And then suddenly the phone rings, and who is on the phone but Gord himself saying, are we going to do a book or not? Really? And that was sort of like a, a long, that, that was the beginning of this long odyssey with Gordon Lightfoot where it's been an on again, off again project mm -hmm. um, that he's sometimes put on the back burner for different reasons. And, and uh, I'm very grateful that it finally, you know, got the go ahead and has seen the light of day. Yeah, and, uh, and to think about, you know, all those conversations over the last, mm -hmm. well, more than 10 years, obviously. Yeah. How do you figure out what you're going to put in the book? I mean, where do you even start? Well, that's, that's a tough one because Gordon Lightfoot has had an extraordinary life. Um, you know, his, his career has, has been, um, has taken him all around the world. You know, he's, he's, he's written 400 songs. At least 25 of them are classics that he plays every single night. And um, I just had to sort of find a through line. I had to find, I think, what the, the gist of his story was, which is really how he's a self-made success story, um, how he, he had a vision at a very, very early age what he wanted to, to do with his life. He knew that he could sing, um, but when he realized that it was all about songwriting, then he, he uh, I, I think that's when he really found his calling because he, he has this unerring sense of melody. He can come up with melodies, you know, just like at the drop of a hat. They, they, they just come to him. The lyrics are, are something he works hard at, but these songs that he crafts are timeless. Mm -hmm. I, I believe they're some of the absolute best songs in popular music. Um, and I think they're, you know, they're, 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 uh, they've made him, I think, Canada's greatest songwriter, certainly in terms of his, his how prolific he's been mm -hmm. and the quality of those songs. He's, there's no one more consistent. Yeah, and standing the test of time. Actually, when I, when I opened this book initially, um, and every time you mentioned a song title, right. I started to play the track. Right. And, you know, it's amazing uh, that the stories with his, you know, his lyrics, it's just incredible. Yeah, really he's, 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 I mean, he, he writes many kinds of songs. Some of them are um, personal love songs, songs mm -hmm. of... Uh, longing, songs of regret, but he's also, as people know, he's, he's been very, very good at um, crafting more historical songs, mm -hmm. songs that are steeped in, um, in, in, in reflection on nature or on, on, on history. I mean, look at Canadian Railroad Trilogy, which is having its 50th anniversary this wow. year. It's wild to think about that. Um, you know, I mean, that, that nothing really sort of tells um, the story of Canada quite like that, but I mean, there's all, also all his songs about the, the great Canadian North, Wisp, yeah. you know, um, and, and they're all steeped in, in the canoe journeys that he took, these mm. marathon canoe trips. And his love for the outdoors. Trips. Oh, he I have absolutely, to, he's so connected, and that's because so of his yeah. Aurelia yeah. Roots. Yeah, I have yeah. to tell you, uh, I'll never forget February 18th, 2010. I'm working at an all news station just down the hall, CP24, and news comes over uh, from somewhere saying, Gordon Lightfoot has died. And we were all, uh, you know, taken aback. I and mean, we reported it just like every other right. uh, major media outlet. And then guess who calls our station? Gordon Lightfoot. Gordon Lightfoot saying, I don't know what's wrong with you people, but I'm alive and well. And this is one of the stories that you talk about. That's right. So he, he's had real brushes with death. Yes. Um, and including, you know, a very near fatal aneurysm in 2002, which, you know, I think he heroically fought back from. And, you know, it's a miracle that he's still with us. And then, of course, in 2010, as you say, there was that. And Ronnie Hawkins. Ronnie Hawkins. Back. Yeah, Ronnie Hawkins. So he and his wife got, you know, got this strange uh, email, and it was a hoax. 
but they believed it. They they took the bait and they they sort of that he had died, and so then yeah, they, they passed it along, and to their, you know to their everlasting regret. Although I think Ronnie and Wanda and Gord all laugh about it now. Oh, I bet, and I love how uh, Gord says, you know, or Gordon, I don't know him as well. So we're going to go with Gordon. Uh, that he said he was on the way to the, the oh, dentist. Oh, Gordy. <laughs> oh, Gordy. Uh, he was on the way to the dentist when he heard that over the radio and went, wait a second, this isn't happening. And he didn't make the dentist appointment. There's so many great stories in here. It is a fascinating read. Uh, and we're just so thrilled that you were able to be here today. Thank you very much. Thanks Lisa. so much.